Kapanyeri, let's go to northeastern Kenya, where the newly appointed coordinator, Mohamed Saleh, has announced that local chiefs will be given arms since they are exposed to attacks from the Al-Shabaab. The government will also be recruiting police reservists to bolster the war on Al-Shabaab. Ian Wafula has the details. Attentively, they listened to every word, some even barely holding back their excitement. Indeed, the man sent from the office of the president came bearing good news for local chiefs in northern Kenya. And the good is kept streaming. You see, for years, chiefs in the area had been tasked with weighty matters such as security within their localities despite the vastness of the northern Kenya. In fact, some like Chief Mohamed Jama had been undermined, threatened and demoralized while his counterpart Yahya Mohamed's wife was killed when a known gunman stormed their homes last week Saturday. <laughs> National Police Reserve addition. Garissa County, Garissa County, in Tawapatia 300 National Police Reserve. And by the button. According to the government, chiefs who underwent paramilitary training and are stationed at the border with Somalia will be given first priority. And if the assurance by the government is anything to go by, then Mandera Senator Bill Okero and other northern Kenya leaders are a happy lot. Speaking during an interview on KTN, Bill Okero and Balambala Member of Parliament Abdi Kadir Omar requested the president for more than just arming chiefs and providing reservists, perhaps deploying security personnel of the same origin with the people. We need security officers who know that terrain, who know that area, who know those people, who can identify, who can tell and who are ready to pursue these people across the borders and everywhere they go, give us those people. I think there is a confusion amongst, unfortunately, the leadership of the country, particularly the people who manage our security, in terms of understanding who is a real Kenyan Somali and who is Al-Shabaab. Unfortunately, because I look like a, Som um, a native Somali, and the Al-Shabaab is supposed to look like, 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 like somebody like me. Unfortunately, there is this blanket punishment. Article 238 of the Constitution would differ with this narrative. In sub-Article 2C, it states that in performing their functions and exercising their powers, national security organs shall respect the diverse culture of the communities within Kenya. Hence, in respect to deploying security personnel to the regions by observing ethnicity and origin would be a breach of the Constitution. For now, however, time will tell whether the arming of chiefs and provision of reservists is a step closer in fighting terrorism in the country. Ian Wafula, KTN.